this is Kalpana here in this video we are going to say a problem from mathematical induction so let's get started problem show that 4 cube plus 8 cube plus 12 cube plus so on plus n terms equals to 6 n square into n plus 1 whole square for all n belongs to capital N so this is a given statement right so here we need to find the nth term using first second third terms okay so consider the sequence here cube is common, okay, just leave it. Consider the sequence 4, 8, 12 and so on. So using arithmetic progression or arithmetic sequence, we have A equals to 4 and the common difference is 8 equals to 12 minus 4 or 12 minus 8. B is 4, okay. If A is 4, then A plus D must be the second term, right? A plus D, that is 4, equals to 8. So, this is our second term. Likewise, A plus 2D will be our third term. A plus A means 4, right? You have A equals to 4 plus 2 times D is 4 equals to 4 plus Two eights to fours are eight. This is equals to four plus eight, twelve, which is a third term, right? Likewise, we can find the nth term using formula a plus n minus one into d. This is a t one, t two, three. T three equals to a plus two d. Okay, you are having three here. And having 2 which is less than 3. Here you are having 2. The quotient of D is less than 2. Right? One number less than 2, 3 and 1. Right? Likewise for T and also you will have A plus 1 number less than this number. That is N minus 1 into D will be our nth term. So you will get 4 plus n minus 1 into d. What is d? 4. d is equals to 4 plus n into 4, 4. n minus 1 into 4 is minus 4. So here you can cancel minus 4 and plus 4. This is equals to 4n. So nth term in the series is 4n. If 4n is n term in this series, then what will be the nth term here? 4n whole cube. 4n whole cube will be our nth term. The given statement. As nth term okay so the given statement can be written as Four cube plus eight cube plus twelve cube plus one plus four and whole cube equals to sixteen n square into n plus one whole square for all n belongs to natural number. Okay, so let p of n be the given statement or above statement then p of n is 4 cube plus 8 cube plus 12 cube plus 1 plus 4 and 4 cube equals to 16 n square into n plus 1 whole square. 
So we have p of n, 4q plus 8q plus 12q plus so on plus 4n whole q equals to 16 into n squared into n plus 1 whole square, right? So now, we'll show that the statement is true for n equals to 1 and we'll assume that the statement is true for n equals to some k which belongs to natural numbers and finally we'll prove that the statement is true for n equals to k plus 1. When n equals to 1, we'll take first term, right? See, so you're having nth term equals to 4n whole cube, okay? If you put n equals to 1, you have to get t1, that is the first term. 4 into 1 whole cube equals to 4 cube, which is the first term. When n equals to 2, you have to get the second term. For 2 is a 8 whole cube. The second term, likewise, when n equals to 3, you need to get third term. For 3 is a 12 cube. Okay? When n equals to 1, we'll take only first term from LHS. When n equals to 2, we'll take the sum of two terms since we are having plus, right? So, we'll take sum of two terms from LHS. Likewise, when n equals to 3, we'll take the first three terms. Likewise, when n equals to k, we'll take first k term since we don't have any k term. So, we'll replace n by k. Okay? Fine. When n equals to 1 from LHS, we have only first term. 4 cube is 4 into 4 into 4. 4 4 are 16. 16 into 4 64. RHS. 16 into substitute n equals to 1. 1 square into 1 plus 1 whole square equals to 16 into 1 into 1 plus 1 2. Whole square equals to 16 into 2 squared is 4. 16 fours, 64. So here LHS equals to RHS. So from this we can say that P of N is true. For N equals to 1. Therefore P of 1 is true. Likewise, you can prove for n equals to 2. When n equals to 2, we'll take sum of first two terms from LHS. 4q plus 8q equals to 4q is 64 plus 8q. 88s are 64 into 8. It was 32. 8, 6, 0. 48. 48 plus 351. So this equals to 512. 512 plus 64 is 576. Now coming to RHS. Put n equals to 2. 16 into 2 square into 2 plus 1 whole square will be 16 into 4 into 2 plus 1, 3 square. 3 square is again 9. 16 fours, 64 into 9. 64 into 9. 9 six are 36. Now, sorry, 9 fours are 36. 9 six are 54. 54 plus 357. So this is equals to 576. So here LHS equals to RHS. From this we can say that the statement is true for n equals to 2. Therefore, LHS equals to RHS. Therefore, P of n is true for n equals to 2. Therefore, P of 2 is true. Likewise, you can check for n equals to 3, 4, and so on. Okay? Fine. 
Now I assume that P of n is true. For some k belongs to natural numbers, then P of k will be 4 cube plus 8 cube simply replace n by k. Then you will get the sum of k terms equals to 16 k square into k plus 1 whole square. Okay, so here P of k holds. We are assuming that, right? Since P of k holds, now we can prove that P of k plus 1 is true. So take k plus 1 terms from LHS. So on plus k term plus k plus 1 term. Since we have the sum of k terms equals to 16 k square into k plus 1 whole square since p of k whole so that we are taking this condition okay plus 4 times k plus 1 whole cube again you can write this as 16 k square into k plus 1 whole square plus 4 cube 4 cube is 64 4 into 4 is 16, 16 into 4 is 64 into k plus 1 whole cube. So now we can take k plus 1 whole square common from these two terms. So this equals to k plus 1 whole square times 16 k square plus 64 into 1 k plus 1. So this becomes k plus 1 whole square into, you could write this as 16 k square plus, you can write 64 as 16 into 4 to k plus 1. So now you can take 16 common from these two terms. You can write this as 16 into k plus 1 whole square into k square plus 4 times k plus 1. This is equals to 16 into k plus 1 whole square into k square plus 4k plus 4. Okay? We are having k square plus 4k plus 4 here, right? So you can write this as k square plus 2 into 2 into k plus 2 square, which is of a square plus 2ab, 2ab plus b square, right? Which is a plus b whole square expansion. So you can replace it by k plus 2 whole square. This equals to 16 into k plus 1 whole square into k plus 2 whole square. Now we need to write k in terms of k plus 1. Okay, for n equals to you need to get the RHS, this one, RHS in terms of k plus 1. Okay, so this equals to 16 to k plus 1 whole square into, you are having k plus 2 whole square, right? You can write this k plus 2 as k plus 1 plus 1 simply will split 2 as 1 plus 1. Then you'll get some k plus 1 plus 1, which is in terms of k plus 1, right? So replace k plus 2 by this. See, now you have RHS in terms of k plus 1. 16 n square into n plus 1 whole square. So this is RHS. Therefore, 
P of k plus 1 such that 4 cube plus 8 cube plus 12 cube plus 1 plus 4k whole cube plus 4 into k plus 1 whole cube is equals to 16 into k plus 1 whole square into k plus 1 plus 1 whole square. Therefore, P of n is true for n equals to k plus 1. Therefore, P of k plus 1 is true whenever P of k is true. Does P of 1 is true? And P of k plus 1 is true whenever P of k is true. From this we can say that Therefore, by the principle of mathematical induction, the given statement is true. belongs to natural numbers. For all, n belongs to natural numbers. So this completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from mathematical induction in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye-bye.